Hi everyone, welcome back to Emporium Galactical Survival. Uh, I believe this is uh, part 8, episode 8. A um, little recap on last time. Yeah, last time we had a little adventure out um, to look at one of the bases that we discovered. So while we were flying home or walking home um, from the Epsilon Power Station, um, we've noticed this one over here. Uh, the drone base. So with the hovercraft we sort of flew near it and um, yeah it wasn't very successful. Uh, I don't know how much damage we actually took. It looks like we didn't take very much damage so I haven't actually looked to see uh, how much damage we took. But yeah basically um, it was we were running for our life. Uh, that's the best um, answer. There were plenty of drones there and yeah with the hovercraft um, you cannot you cannot get into a fight with uh, drones, simple as that. Um, so um, one thing I wanted to test, um, one of the subscribers uh, mentioned to me that the turret does actually work uh, when you um, switch it on. So it does actually move when you switch on. And it does, perfect. Oh, thank you very much. I think it's uh, MKZ514 uh, five, five, or 541. Thank you very much for the tip. And this is perfect. So it does actually move when you have the um, the uh, hovercraft switched on, which makes it obviously a bit easier than um, if you are going against drones. Uh, it still doesn't, uh, yeah, still doesn't defend against the any drone attacks. So, i.e., if you're sitting in the in the hovercraft, it will not defend the ship which is a bit against drones which is a bit annoying but there's a new update that has come out um, this update is 4.2 it came out on Sunday um, so I don't know when this will come on live but this uh, the update 4.2 came out on Sunday and there are a couple of new items there um, that I want to mention it wasn't a big update it was a big update for uh, dedicated servers and multiplayer um, and a couple of updates for um, the single player. Um, again, I haven't made a separate video for the update because I think there, there wasn't enough in there to um, have a video made about it, to be honest. But just to give you an update on that. So in there, they have one, one thing, a couple of things that I wanted to mention. They have a new turret for the hovercraft. So uh, let's see where we can find it. It's not this one, it's not this one, it's neither that one, um, okay, okay, I don't know if you have to actually start a new game, or I'm just being blind, let's have a look under weapons, I doubt it will be under weapons, it's, it is not, um, hmm, 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 hmm. so, how about vessel? Is it maybe under the small vessel they put it by mistake? Nope. It's under here maybe. No, it's not under here either. So let's have one more look, quick look. Uh, I don't think it's a rocket turret because that was there before, I believe. Hmm, okay. Uh, hold on. There we go. Ah, here. There it is. The artillery uh, turret for the hovercraft. Um, so, that is a new one they brought in. Um, so, obviously, that's level 15. There's no way I can build it. Um, but that's the new artillery, artillery turret they have brought in, in with the 4.2 update for the hover vessel. To be honest, uh, once I'm by level 15, I don't think I will be using the hovercraft anymore, I will be using the small vessel. Um, but maybe that one does defend you against drones, I'm not sure. Other updates they put in is they have made the hull texture or improved the hull texture. At first look, um, it looks smoother, I guess. I'm not sure, um, but it does look smoother. And also, they have updated the skin for the oxygen tanks. So let's have a quick look at that. So you can see now they are sort of in the same model as the fuel tanks where they have sort of just metal bits around. I think 
once I go back to my capital chip episode, you will see that because oxygen tanks I do not need here, and I don't really want to waste the resources at this point or build it. Well, I could actually recycle it again, but um, yeah, it, it's not a big update, uh, therefore. Um, then there was, I think, one more update which I thought was relevant. I'm just trying to think. It was the whole... Um, oh, yes. So with the hovercraft now, you don't actually get stuck on plants anymore. So apparently that's fixed now. So we'll probably test that later at some point. Okay, so that's the update, the 4.2 update. Uh, sorry to bore you with that. There's a lot more that has been done, fix uh, improvements and bug, bug fixes and so forth. Uh, you can just go to the website and check the detailed um, information or change log there as well. So let's go back to the game. All right, so where are we? We're still here. We have... Um, yeah, got a home base. We're still alive after the uh, unsuccessful um, day out. And uh, one thing that I wanted to do is maybe possibly build out the base a little bit more. Right? Um, that gives us experience points and so forth. So what I want to do is uh, put some blocks on to work. So let's put some blocks. And build it out. Um, also, one of the subscri subscribers is also um, uh, David, I believe, has been trying to build underwater. And uh, we know, uh, and I know from last time or other videos that I saw, I haven't built underwater yet, but um, some other people I have watched on YouTube have uh, tried, have built underwater. And um, yeah, it's, it's not very um, easy um, because there is, I'm trying to go down. Okay, here we go. It's not very easy because um, they have, uh, I don't think, worked on the physics yet with, in regards to water. Yes, you can build underwater, but I don't think they have built, uh, worked on the physics yet to make bases airtight if you build them underwater, etc. But I thought um, just to test, not actually to um, make it one big feature because this is not going to be the base I'm going to stay on forever but I thought hey why not let's uh, try to see if we can build out a little bit um, from f out from the water um, into this current base here so that's what we'll probably uh, be doing today um, so if you're not into the, into, into the mood for um, a building session then um, you can switch off now and um, yeah uh, come in next time when we do a bit more travel uh, around the planet which I have also planned um, so let's what I wanted to do actually the other side I believe is um, closer to the water um, well, this looks similar to be honest but okay so let's just see what we can actually do okay so we can build it out here which is about there okay so It. There's a box I heard. Okay. Nope, I didn't want it there. I wanted it here. Is he not gonna he's not gonna grab that, is he? No. Ah here we go. I'm just sort of freestyling now. I haven't even got anything in mind what I actually want to build down here, but uh, I'm just literally just freestyling. And it's not very deep here, to be honest. But it gives us some kind of idea. So let's have a look. And let's build it. It's approximately down to here, I believe. Can you grab one? No, we can't. Okay, let's see if we can get something here. There we go. So now we should be able to put something there. Okay, let's go to the other side. Go down 
again a little bit so negative in there yep perfect okay we should be able to build from here again I hope it's the right um, size okay so I don't know we can build a swimming pool here or something well let's see if, what we can do with this okay looks good let's get some more blocks I believe it should be about right making the outsides now. I think we may have to do some more. Let's do that. It's going to run out, so let's do some more metal plates. Uh, can't get over. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, so hopefully this should be about right. I think that's correct. Looking good so far. Come on. Yeah, perfect. Okay, it does fit all. Okay, very good. Down here. Down here. Can we get this one down there as well? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so that is all blocked up nicely. I believe there was one more underwater, which I was... Uh, you can hear obviously the aliens are coming. Yeah, I wanted to get something in there. I don't know if I can manage to get it in there. It's going to be a little bit fiddly. Yeah, I don't think that's going to fit in there. Okay. Anyway, so now uh, what I wanted to do is as well is actually do this. So we have the wall. Okay. So if you go up, we should be fine. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, we've got a little wall, I really want this to be closed as well, there we go. I know it's possibly a little bit of waste for blocks, but uh, 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 go. Ah, we run out of blocks. Okay, so we have our little sort of uh, <laughs> swimming pool here. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. I doubt that the. Uh, I think I'm being a bit stupid here. I think I'm being a bit stupid here. Because. Let me just check something. Test something. Okay, all right. So you can see here now. That's what I wanted to test. It is actually ah. Uh, see here. Even so, we're underwater. You can see it's obviously not. I could take the helmet off here. I believe. Let's have a look. Uh, is it you here? Yeah. So here I can take the helmet off. I am underwater, 
but I've drilled. So, what I'm going to try to do is the following, because I think the water level is only to a certain extent. So if I put the helmet back on, and I go here, the water level here, I think is here. If I drill down here, I believe at some point, the water, yeah, as I thought, the water level is going to stop. So, what that means is, let's take the helmet off here because we don't need it, well, at this point here, is the water level only goes to a certain point and then the water level starts again. So um, that means the deeper, I, if I go be, be below the water level with drilling, then uh, I can actually build there, I don't need to use um, oxygen or anything like that. Um, but it's a bit annoying because you would expect um, this whole space sort of to be able to be without water. So let's have a look. So you can see here already, I don't need any any helmet here at this level. Oh, there's the water here. So I need to go deeper here. So if I go deep enough, I can build under the water. It's okay. Ideas are coming up now in my mind of how I can make this actually work in some shape or form. So you can see the water, yeah, it breaks up here as well. It doesn't look very nice. But you can see here, you can literally go under the water now. Without the helmet suit, you could build. Here, I need to go deeper. Uh, it gives me good experience points. Okay, so now I'm deep enough. Oh, there's one point here where it needs to go deeper. Okay, I think I should be deep enough now all points that I don't need to worry about drowning. So but what does it actually mean in regards to building underneath? Um, it's all nice, fine. Um, Build an exit road here for us to get up again. All right. Okay. It does it doesn't look very nice? I have to say, it does not look nice. If you look at it now here, for example, I mean, yes, you can possibly put some blocks in here. Let's do that actually. Um, so that one. So let's get some blocks and get some more blocks working. I got ten, not enough. But let's try and see if that is sufficient. So theoretically, uh, we can put one there. there. 
bloody alien that's right in the middle there. blocks us but we'll be going in a minute all right so now what I want to do test this now let's go in here yep okay all right so that's what it does okay let's block everything up in here sorry it's becoming dark now I know uh, apologies so we've got this perfect here so what I'm trying to do now is um, what I'm trying to do is block this up here and sort of have an under base here whereby I will sort of connect it with the house underneath the the ground so I will basically drill underneath here all the way in there and then up again to come into the house um, what does that what purpose or what um, what does it give us yeah sort of a bit of an underground base I guess uh, so we can block it up a little bit here we put a little whatever we uh, feel we put the roof in so to say um, we can actually put the roof here if we want to to be honest uh, do we want to do that no let's put the roof a little bit lower so we take some stones off make the roof lower right and go maybe a little bit deeper in uh, down uh, into the water um, and then have like a little underground the water sort of uh, station move uh, a window windows at the top um, see-through windows that you can actually look through and um, then you can look through the water so it will look kind of this way you look up under the water into the skies sort of so yeah but this is now you can under now you can see the um, the physics of the water at this current stage um, I would prefer if it was really that you can make it airtight um, underneath but um, that seems to be not at the moment be possible um, hopefully it will at some stage um, will be possible hopefully um, but yeah because it would be quite nice to be able to build uh, cool looking underwater uh, stations and so forth I would definitely um, uh, work on that. Oh, well would work and build an under underwater station uh, no question so, uh, let's take that and eat this oh, I've got 10 stones here I didn't even use I could have used uh, let's take that. Right. actually no those I always use for the hovercraft if I get destroyed or something so let's have a quick look so idea is now so we'll see at what level uh, so we could let's say here we could sort of build the ceiling let's do that and just put that stone down there for so I know whereabouts and then I have that to block it off there okay let's do the other side as well wherever we might need it I think that's it, doesn't it? We don't need it on this. Yeah, we do need it on this side. So can we fit in one more? There? Yeah, and one more there. It's a bit of a waste, I know. Uh, sorry about that. But I will be drilling it nicely offline. I will off uh, offline. I will drill this nicely so that it all fits nicely, um, and then we will have a nice little floor here as well. Let's see if we can already get one stone in. No, we can't. Because um, this here, the stone, this on this level now, will be the floor. Because uh, I think it will be high enough. Then it's well, actually maybe two level further down. So yeah, okay. What I will do, I will do some more drilling offline, um, and um, I think you guys will get, get the idea now of what I'm trying to achieve here. Hopefully, um, I really want this water to go away here. And let's just block this out for the time being. Um, level eight, perfect. So yeah, let's just let's 
Oh, actually, what that means, we could actually make the ceiling even higher going into the station. So we'll do that. Okay, so yeah, that will be the idea. So I will remove some of that, have the ceiling here at this level, and then um, yeah. So let me do. I will do some more drilling offline. I think we're all getting. We all have an idea now how the physic physics work for the water at this current moment. Uh, I don't like it looking out there. Uh, well, I will fix that. Um, we'll get an idea now what the physics actually look like with building underwater. Um, so I will do some more, um, and um, hopefully, hopefully it will look good. Um, I'll obviously, have to do some more uh, blocks and also glass and so forth. Um, but also, I don't want to waste too many resources on it uh, because the idea is here uh, in this game here is to survive and not to build some fancy um, swimming aquariums and that's what it will probably look like but yeah the idea will be then that here you will have sort of a way down with stairs and um, to go into the underwater base um, which will be on the site okay well I hope you enjoyed that episode I know there hasn't been much action apologies for that um, but uh, I think we have have a good grasp and idea now of the water. If you have any tips or tricks or know something that I haven't mentioned in here which is helpful, uh, do let me know in the comments. Um, it would be very, very helpful. And um, yeah, I've, again, thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time. Um, I will, again, build on this one here a little bit more. And then in the next episode, we will discover or we will fly around a little bit more on this side of the planet. Uh, so we have been on this side and have n or know at this stage uh, there's no point going there because uh, we're not strong enough um, but we haven't really discovered this site yet so we're going to have a fly over here um, with the hovercraft in the next episode and um, yeah and i will show you what i have done so far on this little aquarium build here okay well i hope you enjoyed the show and i shall see you next time thanks for watching bye